I am Anil Kumar and here is a very popular question on half angle trigonometry. The question here is determine exact value of sine pi by 8. We have four choices. Which one is the right answer? Let's actually find the exact value. We can derive the formula. We know what is cos 2 theta equals to. Let's say cos 2 theta equals to, we want sine. So we'll write in terms of sine 1 minus 2 sine square theta. Now we can rearrange it. So we get 2 sine square theta equals to 1 minus cos 2 theta sine square theta equals to 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2 and then we can say sine theta equals to plus minus square root of 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2. So that is a formula which can be used. Now in this formula what we are going to put is we want pi by 8, right? So if I write theta equals to pi by 8, then 2 theta is going to be 2 times pi by 8 or pi by 4, correct? So that is going to help us to find the exact value. Let's do our calculations now on the right side and find the exact value. So the formula for us is now Let's apply this formula and instead of theta, let me write pi by 8. So we get sine pi by 8 equals to, so let's begin with plus minus itself, 1 minus cos 2 theta, 1 minus cos of 2 times theta, in this case will be pi by 4, twice pi by 8, right? That's the idea. That is it. Now, as you know, pi by 8 actually is, a, is an acute angle it will be in quadrant 1, therefore we should take positive value. So we will take the positive value, right, and then continue. Cos pi by 4 is how much? So you can use special triangles. I don't want you to remember a lot of stuff, right? You can actually, you know, uh, apply these techniques so that you can always get the right answer. So it's better to use the one with square root 2, square root 2, so that you don't have to rationalize. So cos of pi by 4 is square root 2 over 2 divided by 2. All this is within square root. Okay. So now we'll take common denominator. There's no point writing plus. So we say 2 minus square root 2 divided by this 2 and everything divided by this 2. Everything is within the square root. So we can bring it down here. So we get 2 minus square root 2 divided by 4. And that is equal to, that 4 can be brought outside. So we can say 2 minus square root 2 within square root divided by 2. So that is the answer which matches with A. So that is how you can find the value of sine pi by 8. Well, this is a very useful video and I think you should get back to this and also try to find half angle formulas for other things. For example, you can try cos uh, pi by 12, right? You can also try tan pi by 8. Okay, so that should be a good exercise to prepare you for your own test. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and learn a lot about my videos. Thank you and all the best.